Oh, I guess we might be close to Area 51. No, actually what came falling down here is an old guest shelter, from which you used to be able to watch the bison. But as you might have seen in a recent video, then both the bison and the shelter are now gone, since we turned that area into the pronghorn panorama. But I quite like this building here, so I did have it saved in the map to see if I could use it elsewhere. So I tried to play around with placing it various places in the park, just to see where it would add the most to the surrounding scenery, and then figure out what to use it for after. So it ended up here between the Jaguars and the restaurant. At first I was just going to keep it as a guest viewing platform, but that felt a little boring. Then I realized I could try and recycle it into a habitat for something. I had already tried to start building for the skunks a couple of times in this zoo, but so far I haven't really ended up with a good idea for them. Therefore I decided to give it a try inside of this shelter, since it did seem to have a decent size for skunks. It will undergo some changes, but in the end it was a rather quick habitat to build. The number of pieces I had to delete from this building was quite low, so it is still easy to recognize it as the same shelter. I added a window on each side of the building, one for the people to look through, and one that kind of uses the landscape of the park as a bit of a background for the enclosure. Which also means the skunks might have one of the best views in the zoo. Most annoying thing about using this shelter was to adjust all the wooden poles and also tried to figure out what the right number of poles would be, which I'm still not really sure about. Besides from the windows and the poles, we just had to adjust the terrain a bit and otherwise close the whole enclosure off with mess pieces. I think it all turned out quite nice. This habitat also helps rounding out this side of the North American area. After I finished recording this speed build, I did work a bit around on the landscape and foliage around this building to make the area feel complete. There's still room for expansions up here, but for now I'll make it appear finished. Otherwise I did not leave out much of the process behind this habitat. But you'll see it all at the end of the video. And since this was a quite small, tight habitat, I realized it was easy to turn into a blueprint. So that is on the workshop now. You can find a link to it in the description and let me know if any pieces from it seems to be missing. Maybe you are wondering why I went with skunks for a desert themed zoo? Well even though the Zoopedia and Planet Zoo does not list deserts as one of their biomes, they are actually found in and around some desert areas in real life. Overall striped skunks are very widespread mammals in North America, so you can fit them into a lot of themes if you like. I decided to just keep two males, could be wrong, but I believe zoos in the US normally won't breed with skunks. I guess those you find in captivity there are often are rescued animals of some kind, and I think it is like that with a lot of native mammals of least concern in North America. You're welcome to correct me if I'm wrong about this, but that is why I didn't go with a breeding group in here. The same will probably be the case with the raccoons and foxes, which I will add another day. And when those two species move into the park, then there should not be a lot left to do in the North American area. I did remove some of the exhibit species when I built for the pronghorn, so I need to add those back in somehow before we can call this section done. I also want to do some adjustments to the jaguars and maybe the cougar habitat as well. And I also still need to make custom signs for a lot of species. When all that is done I think we'll do a tour video for this part of the park and after that we can continue with the Kalahari and Namib desert area. All of this of course might change a bit depending on the expected DLC in December, but I do hope I can manage to finish this park before we hopefully get another DLC in the spring next year. And when I say finish, it might not mean I will never go back to this park. Should a desert pack or something like that arrive one day, then we'll probably then we'll probably be back here no matter what. But I do want to start something new within the next half year or so. I kept the decoration of the skunk's usable area in here quite simple. They got an unusable nesting box made of wood, which I made for the phoenix a while back. And otherwise it is mostly just some plants and stone in the center of the enclosure. I don't want every enclosure in the park to look super expensive, and this seemed like an animal it would make sense to go a little simple with. And I think it turned out pretty good like this. But maybe I should have added a bit more places where the skunks could go and hide. And to get a bit more of light inside the shelter, I ended up removing some of the roof and go with some mess pieces instead. This also aligned well with where you will find most of the plants. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to help me reach 500 subscribers before the end of the year, then please click on the subscribe button. And a like on the video will also be very much appreciated. And now I guess it should be time to take a look at the completed skunk habitat. Thank you for stopping by.